The world doesn't need an antidote against evil, Connors. It needs a weapon. This nanobot serum is my greatest breakthrough. A new era of nanotechnology begins today. Sorry I'm late. Robots, rush hour traffic, you know. Smythe is doing this because of me! So, here we all are. I won't unleash this on the world without testing it first. I'm not crazy. <laughs> They're not reacting to me. That can only mean Alistair succeeded, and I... I'm no longer Spider-Man. Oh, that's nice. The apocalypse. It happened the whole time I was in there. Do I smell like kibble? How am I supposed to get over there if I can't go through this... Whatever. Am I in a quarantined area? Where am I supposed to go? I can't tell if I'm in the good area or the bad area. These guys look like they're trying to kill us. Everybody's over here coughing. Oh, this looks like a spot to go. Oh my goodness. Explosive. Okay. Let me turn off the... That damn rat is still following me. Hold on. Had to turn off the baby monitor. That damn rat is following me, man. I'm not feeling that. I hope it's part of the story and not just some creepy thing. The question on people's minds is, where is Spider-Man? Despite numerous sightings at the outset of this crisis, including by yours truly, there has been no sign of him for hours, leading many to wonder if the once alleged author of this tragedy is now another victim. Whoa, are you seeing this? We can now see Spider-Man himself making his way out of the rubble. <sighs> Keeping an eye on me, Whitney? This is so weird. This is so weird. He's literally running in front of me every time. Look at that. Look at that. It'd be one thing if they're trying to see I should have taken that car. It'd be one thing if they're trying to tell me where to go. What the heck is that? Oh. Dude, if you were Spider-Man. Goodness gracious. If you were Spider-Man's pretty smart, so you'd think he would um I gotta run towards it. I think he'd be able hey, to hide. Peter, this is Stan. My bank called. There's a large amount of activity on my card. Apparently, someone bought a ton of lab equipment. Lab equipment. Boy, I hope it's not you, Parker. But something tells me it is. You live in some amazing fantasy, kid. And it's time you started living in the real world. What am I going to tell you, Aunt May? Call me. He's angry about the card. He's going to flip when he sees his apartment. Well, at <laughs> least he won't have to explain his apartment now that the fucking apocalypse is happening. Huh? Oh, I mean, I don't know. I was running away from this. And then all of a sudden, I came back and it looked like this. So, yeah, I'm Spider-Man. But yeah, seriously, um, and and on top of that, you know, all the stories about things happening to New York, you know, it happens purely because that's where the Marvel headquarters is, you know? So I wish they would come up with better ways to tell stories. 
instead of trying to make New York sound so interesting. I'm sure it is. I'm sure if you're from New York, it's great, you know. But I get sick and tired of them, them uh, stroking themselves because nobody else gives a damn. Like, there's nobody outside of New York other than maybe some, some fashion people in Japan or something that are like, yeah, New York is the best place to be. Nobody cares. So you kind of get sick and tired. I mean, you know, I'm beating a dead horse. You guys know. Anyway. Makeshift lab. All right. I mean... Oh, here we go. Peter, it's me. I don't know if you'll get this message. Not that it matters, really. I just want to get something off my chest. I have a feeling it might not go as expected. <laughs> Quite a ride it was, I must admit. And now that it's about to end, I came to realize the point of this whole journey, thanks to you. At first, I was just fine rotting away in the Institute, wallowing in my guilt and cowardice. And then you came along, like a bull in a china shop, and forced me out of my indolence. And though it took me a while, I began to feel like I could redeem myself from the horrors I brought upon the city. That's where I was wrong again. The past few hours made me realize what's really important is not about facing my fears or striving for redemption. The only thing that matters now is to do what's right. To do what is right. You open my eyes, Peter. I don't know how much time I will get to use them, but hey, it's already worth it. Thank you, Peter. For everything. Well, that's nice. I hope he made an antidote to fix me, though. I mean, at least Dr. Connors has always been a genetic engineer. Gwen! Peter! Thank God you're all right. You didn't answer my messages, and I, I didn't know what to do, so I came here looking for you. Look, I hate this place, and I hate Connors for what he did, but I want to trust you. Peter, what happened? God, look at those boobs. Just another disagreement between me and a powerful madman bent on world destruction. My eyes are up here. You know how it goes. My powers are gone. What? How? Smythe injected me with some nanobot cocktail, like a mechanical virus. I'm fading, Gwen. I can feel it. Not only my powers, but... <laughs> Where's Connors? I, I looked around. This place is deserted. There's more to this lab than you know, Miss Stacy. Wow. Connors! Ninja. You're all right. We can still get this antidote out. Is it ready? Smythe's robots are destroying the city. It's ready, but we can't stop them without Spider-Man's help. And while he'll never admit it, Pete's not in a condition I... to go anywhere. I'll be dancing in just a minute. This cure is useless if no one's alive to get it. So this is it. After all that's happened, it comes down to this. I swore never again to touch this. But I must. God help me. What do you mean? Wait, what is that? If I can get back here before it completely takes over, I might still have a chance. No! Tell me that is not what I think it is, Connors. Tell me you're not thinking of turning yourself into the lizard. I am not Do living you think I that want nightmare to? again. But how many people will die if I don't? My father died, you bastard! You have been planning this all along! Stop it, Gwen! What other choice do we have? With Peter in his condition, the lizard is the only one strong enough to stop you Smite. You're not a superhero. You are a monster! I'm not a monster. And I'm not a superhero. I'm a scientist. Now listen to me. 
There's a time window before the lizard brain takes over. A window where I'm in control. I can use the lizard's powers to defeat the robots. And I swear I'll be back before it takes over. It's our only hope. Sure. Yeah, Spider-Man's kind of in need of medical attention there, so... Come on! Gwen. Easy, Pete. Relax. Man, I was out of it, huh? Literally. Your heart stopped. It's lucky I found this thing. Okay. Hey, now. I'm supposed to be the one who saves lives around here. Uh, Connors. Where's Connors? He's the lizard now. We haven't been crushed by a giant robot, so I think he's helping us for now. He needs help. I gotta get up you there. You need to stay right here. That's not gonna happen. I feel better now than when I came in here, somehow. Uh, it's probably the, uh... The quick shock to the heart or whatever. Maybe the nanites got electrocuted. Time to change up. I don't like that one. That one looks weird. Should we go back with the normal one? With the silly belt. Yeah, fine. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go back to Spider-Man. I'm actually irritated that those four suits on the back end are just straight up, like, one color scheme. Why the hell are they all so color void except for that, like, that one? That one's pretty cool. Looks like someone's had a rough day. We have such a shitty color scheme, though. Whatever. Um... All right, let me get the fuck out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see what Gwen has to say. How did I let this happen? Ever, ever the uh, optimist. Oh, let me get the fuck out of here. Spider-Man may be powerless, but he's still a hero. He must help Connors as the lizard and stop Smythe. Without my web swing, there's no way I'm reaching that thing. You need a lift, Spider-Man! Hey. Uh, he's still gonna die, but okay. He's riding that shit like he's a uh, uh, still Spider-Man. Yo. Pete, I realized something when I revived you. I it's gonna sound strange, but if you let the robots hit you with just enough electricity, it might fry the nanobots in your system. Uh, are you serious? You want your powers back, right? Try it. It's not gonna be easy. I I lost my powers. What? Why are you going then? I made a promise. That's suicide. You sure you want to do this? Nope. What are you doing, just Spider-Man? Why won't you die? Destroy him! Oh, that works. Stay away! I'm here to help. Bad idea. I already died once today. It ain't gonna happen again. I was Bye. frozen today. Did that work? Did that work? I got electrocuted. Wait a minute. Jackpot. Let's pull the plug on this thing. This is gonna be easy. 
Are we assuming he's got this his skills not back? Gonna be easy. Systems not responding. Damn it! How did he know? Back. Da whatever. You won't prevent me from saving this city. Looks like we gotta throw robots, huh? Sweet! Punch you back! Destroy this thing, we should attack it from the outside! Love to help you, man, but dang. You don't have to be a douche about it. You may regret this. Get the fuck out of here. It's not a smart way to do things. That's enough. Not feeling it. Lucky there. I don't know how that worked. I'll have to do this myself. He literally just Pizza. I'm I'm changing. Pizza. You won't get away this time. I mean, he seriously, um... Oh. Time to break your legs! I don't... Oh! I think I'm supposed to... Sit <laughs> me! How do you like that webs? Species filth! Seas-ridden monsters! Fools! Really? Oh, well, at least I figured out that much. I am the future. Freaks! Ready to give up? That's one down. Hurry 
Ouch. Stop telling me what to do, man. I have to release my nanobots. How does doing that bring him down to the ground? Show me what you can do, lizard. Why didn't Alistair use the nano box to get his fucking legs back in check? No. Without my robots, I can't save the city. Look around you. This is your idea of saving the city? They must... They must lead us to a brighter, better tomorrow. Forget about tomorrow, Smythe. It may not come. Ow, his leg. His foot. Oh my god. My God, what have I done? Connors! Okay. Yeah, I thought that was, uh, I don't know. I mean, he could totally use the, uh, Nanobots to fix his legs, you know what I mean? I mean, if we're going with comic book logic here, if nanobots is really his thing, he could totally do it. Or at least replace his legs with some robotic technology instead of just putting his <laughs> putting his weak ass in there. But, I mean, he does that in the comic anyway, so whatever. Even in the uh, cartoon, he was he was in, like, one of those Professor X-style like hovering rolling uh wheelchairs or whatever like those uh old those old like futuristic timey looking ones but the uh you know as the thing went along he just said fuck it and then he just started augmenting his body so he could kill spider-man himself and uh you know I think that sort of Alistair Smythe is actually kind of cool if he was drawn better. I mean, Mark Bagley was the one who drew the, the uh, first Alistair Smythe as the Spider Slayer as opposed to him just repeatedly making these Spider Slayer robots that looked exactly the same, you know. Um, but, yeah. Let's bring that Alistair Smythe back. All right, well... At least I'm back to being Spider-Man. Gwen, listen to me. Incredible news. I've reprogrammed the Hunter to spread the antidote to every hospital in the city. But I still need a few tweaks to make it work. That sounds great, but you need to skip the tweaks. Connors is in full-blown lizard mode. He's coming your direction. Of course. What did you expect, Peter? I'm on my way. No need to hurry. Yeah. Ouch. Really, though? Oh, 
three photos. Da 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 da. This proof of Oscorp's hazmat teams in the sewers. Proof of cross species intelligence. And enemy turned into a friend. Whatever. Huh. What do we have here? I'm feeling like the last one picked a recess. <laughs> Fantastic. I need to handle him first. I'm guessing we can't all just get along. So this fighting is really taking its toll on the city. my rhythm there for a second. Why does that ladder matter? Oh, I guess I want to go up there. What the hell was that all about? Seriously? You're going down. Oh, come on! So it makes me want to restart shit, man. Fucking bullshit. Kind of fought me into, into closing off sections. The sections have to close off so it can reload the rest of the stuff. That's how they get over on you, you know? You can't open up the whole map with a whole bunch of shit going on, so you have to... You have to have the um, part of the map close off behind you so it can load the rest of it up while you're moving through the area. That's how you make the uh, that's how you make things continuous. You know what I mean? Which is fine. It's just I don't like being pushed up. I said, we, oh whatever. Here. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna have to play this level again. I guess. I don't know. I am into the fact that the story just started up out of nowhere, so right now we're at the climax. 